These days, your television is getting more social. Companies like Sony and Microsoft are finding new ways to bring people around the television to do things they do online, such as chat, share content and pictures, and just socialize. And as Christopher Lawton of the Wall Street Journal writes in this month's technology reports, it's really that these companies are taking a cue from Web 2.0 companies and maybe even social networking sites. That, that's correct. I, I think that they're seeing how popular that kind of activity is and they're trying to bring that to their own devices. So for example, uh, Microsoft and Sony with their latest video game consoles, uh, they're internet connected and you have a, a headset and just like you would online, you have a friends list and you can kind of see who's online at the same time as you are and you can connect with them to chat or to play games or watch movies or, or really just hang out. Um, they're also creating avatar networks so you can create a kind of a virtual representation of yourself and then you can almost literally kind of or at least virtually hang out while you're chatting. And this is all stuff that's existed before it just hasn't necessarily existed on the television. That's correct. That's correct. So I mean you've got uh, companies like Social uh, Second Life that uh, that has done social networks and in virtual worlds and so it's just kind of bringing that online to the to the to TV. To the television. And yeah. so of course content companies are saying, hey, this could be a really good opportunity for us to also get in on this. That's correct. I think everybody kind of realizes that this is the way that uh, that people are communicating these days. So you've got content companies like Walt Disney who recently released the Blu-ray version of their Sleeping Beauty animated movie. And through an internet connected Blu-ray player, you can literally use a uh, uh, internet connect I'm sorry, a web uh, based device like an, an iPhone or a Blackberry to chat on the screen mm -hmm. with somebody else watching the movie from a different location at the same time. And then you've got companies like Boxy who are creating ways for people to actually interact and watch the same thing at the same time? Uh, yeah, well, Boxy's kind of taking a cue from, from Facebook and, and their, uh, their news feed, which is all about recommendations. And so what Boxy allows people to do is kind of see in real time on the TV what their friends are watching and, and what they're listening to and then it will um, give you ways legally of course to to also find that content. Of course. Of course. So what are the business objectives around these types of opportunities? So I mean as in uh, as social networks have, have kind of figured out advertising is a potential way to to make money but there are also other ways as well. I think uh, a lot of the console companies, for example, are just realizing that this is the way people want to interact and so they want more people to buy these consoles. So this is just one more reason why you might do that. Uh, another business model that's also being potentially tested is, is something called microtransactions where you actually upsell some of these services as, uh, at, a, at a premium to, to users. Okay. Um, and to be sure, I, I don't think anybody's really kind of figured out what exactly the right business model is. It's, it's uh, almost kind of throwing spaghetti against the wall. In the end, it's all about sales. It is all about sales <laughs> okay. in the end, absolutely. All right, Christopher, thank you. Yeah. I've been speaking with Christopher Lawton of the Wall Street Journal. I'm Stacey Dillow.